settle in, knees nice and wide, as wide as your mat or even wider, feet together. Reach those sits bones back, hands forward, and you only choice with your arms. You can completely relax your elbows down and your head. on your forehead from temple to temple or you can lift your elbows off the mat anything you'd like to do you've got a whole minute here just to arrive on your mat to start your day set your intention for the day Try to focus in on the side waistlines getting longer and those intercostal muscles widening as you breathe really big there. If you can get that breath to be an inhale for four and then an exhale for four. And come up halfway and bring your right hand up to the sky. Open out to the right. Thread your arm under, but don't land it. Just reach under three times and stretch and two and stretch one more and stretch and on this one land your right shoulder right here right neck on the mat And rise your right arm back up to the sky. One more opening and then put your hands down and we'll switch sides. When you're ready, left arm up and reach it through three times. Big stretch. Next one, take it all the way down. Take it down. Big space in your heart, shine it to the side. Pull your shoulders down your back. Make your way out of there. Bring that arm for one more. Open to the side there. And back to child's pose. Both hands to the right corner. Curious how much length you can go from left fingertips to left hip. Big, big stretch. And slowly walk your hands center mat side and stretch and breathe.
and come back to the center. Let's meet in our all fours tabletop position for our lovely cat cows. Spread your fingers, draw your heart forward, look forward, sits bones to the sky, belly to the mat. And round, exhale round. Go back and forth. If you'd like, as you round, curl your toes under and feel like you're really pressing the mat away through that whole center body. And then lower your feet down flat as you come through to cow. Beautiful, back and forth at your own time. Really try to articulate each vertebrae as they round. And as the accordion out in this position. It'd be four more. Absolutely the best way to wake up here. And last one. And let's just keep the tabletop, fill your toes under. Pull your hands back a little bit if they're in front of the shoulders. Nice balance. And hover your knees off the mat. Just for eight. Seven, belly to spine. Spine is flat. Four. Nice strong table pose for three. And one, and lower those knees, unfold your feet, give them a little tap, and sit back, child's pose with knees, hip width. So now your chest is literally laying on your legs. Let's make our way to our first down dog. So come back to your quadruped, bring your hands out a little bit further and lift your seat. You can bring your hands out a little bit if you'd like and your feet in a little bit. They're pigeon toe kind of with the feet, your fingers are out to the diagonal. And then just walk it. your right leg in the air not too high and we're going to bring that right leg through to low lunge deep chest land it between the hands lower your left knee and rise find your balance helps to have the back toes curled under if you feel a little wiggly arms up to the sky Take a hold of your opposite wrist to your knee and give me a nice side stretch to the knee. Breathe into those left lungs again. And come up carefully, unwind, flex your front foot and fold over. Nice heavy torso draping over your legs. Maybe toes turn out to the side. Get your little IT band stretch there. Come back to the center with your foot, lower it down and bring the hands to the inside of the leg and fold yourself forward. Option to stay right there or you can turn to the knee. You 
can lift your heel towards your seat. And inhale. And exhale, let everything go. Beautiful. And we're going to turn to a nice straddle. We're going to turn to the side and go back and forth. want to hold it to one side for a second a little longer feel free give me four more staying bent to the left leg in three two and hold and turn and now we should have the other knee down and the front leg has changed. And we rise. Beautiful. Sharon, come on down with your knee. We're in our 90-90 um, stretch. Arms up. Take hold of the wrist of the opposite leg, arm to the leg and side stretch over your front leg. Remember to squeeze your bottom and bring your tailbone towards your knee on the floor there. Come on up. Un un uh, let that foot go. And flex and fold. Sure you're not locked out in your front kneecap. Open your foot to the side. And come back to neutral foot, lower it down. Hands to the inside. And you're in your lizard pose. Turn to your knee. Remember, if you're thinking of lifting the back leg, make sure you're not on your kneecap. You're on the bottom of the thigh so you can lift up safely. And I'm not reaching back this morning. It's a little early for that attempt. And let that leg go. And come back to child's pose. If anything feels different in each time you come back to child's pose. Let's go back to down dog and we're going to go three legged dog to pigeon. Three legged dog to pigeon doesn't sound like fun. You can do your on your back, spread the needle, right leg up and right knee to the outside of your right hand. Lengthen back your left leg so it's right behind the hip, or you can come onto your back and do your spread the needle. So you're either here, Sharon, if that doesn't work for you, you're here. And we have a whole minute here. You can come down to your elbows if that becomes accessible to you. Make a pillow for your head and your pigeon pose. Find that inhale for four, nice and controlled, really active breath here.
very slowly. If you have elbows down, come up to straight arms. Curl your back toes under, lift your knee up. And then we're going to float back to three-legged dogs. Take that leg back for a stretch. Bend it. And lower it down. And let's make our way to the other side. Three-legged dog left side. And bring it through to pigeon. Your knee want to come, come to the outside left of your mat. Nice and wide there. And walk those toes back. Beautiful. Got a nice Sharon on the camera right now. Booty, your dog's booty. Nice one. Take it down if you'd like to the elbows. And trying to relax fully into that seat. a scan, see where you can relax. Maybe it's the shoulders, maybe it's the hips. Maybe we can do a prayer with the hands to get a nice arm stretch. So you're making a prayer behind your neck and you're walking your elbows to the front of the mat and pulling your lats down your back. Come into a nice laying down stretch for the legs. So make sure your belly, your pubic bone is on your mat if it would like to be. Your hips. Straighten out your legs straight behind your hips and bend that right leg. Bring your heel. Just feet. And then go around to catch it with your right hand if you can. And again, one minute here. Three, push the hip down, squeeze the glutes. no choice but to stretch. Keep it there, another 30 seconds, find your breath, in, four. Without slingshotting the foot, release it carefully. Maybe shimmy the hips around. And then let's go to the other side. Left heel back towards your left side. And 
hands. Use that glute. Glute down. Thirty more seconds. Squeeze that booty a little tighter. And gently release it. Now let's make our way up to a plank and just hold plank. So you can come up to straight arms, leave your knees down there if you'd like, or you can lift the knees up and let's stay 30 seconds. Soften the elbows, lift your belly nice and tight. Tuck your tailbone forward towards your heels. Flatten across your upper back, stretch your head forward. You have four, three, two, and child's pose. And let's come back to our quadruped. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. We have some bird dogs to do. Bring the right arm forward and the left leg back. And then slowly come in with the limbs and switch. Beautiful, give me eight of those. Eight. Six. Four, two, and last one, hold. Try to curl in the belly and bring elbow to knee eight times. Eight, and lengthen. Four. Last two, last one, out and hold. Take your palm to face down and take the limbs out of the mat and back again. You got it, seven more. Put your hand down if it's too hard to do it with the hand as well. Six more and then just use your leg and work your waistline. Five, four, doing amazing. Last one. And replace your left limbs down. Just take your palms and turn them out to the side for a second. A little wrist stretch. And little circles with your heart. And reverse it. And then you bring your hands all the way around, face the knees. Just stay. And then turn your hands back the normal way. And let's take left arm forward and right leg back. And when you're ready, curl it in eight times. Eight. Remember to exhale. 
glowing spot me. And out and hold. Calm down, sweep the limbs away. And back in again. Four more. And last one. And back to your quadruped. Let's bring those hands again out to the side. And little pendulum swings. You can make them a little bit bigger if you like. And then reverse it. Come back to the center, turn your fingers to face your knees. And very gently forward and back. Getting a nice forearm wrist stretch there. And then return your hands forward. Knees to hip width. Reach forward and give me puppy pose. Hips up, turn backwards to the ceiling now. Rest your chin or your forehead on the floor. Try to bring your heart towards the mat. back and sit on your feet so they're nice and flat hip width just sit on them nice thigh stretch remember if it's too difficult to bring the shoulders over the hips you stay forward with a little bit of pressure on your hands otherwise you can walk your hands behind you open up your heart I'm not going to lift my hips off the floor today, but if you'd like to lift your sitting bones off your heels, feel free. Might be a bit strong in the morning to do that. Do give me that nice um, chest opener here if your hands are behind you. And then walk it forward. And bring your legs out in front of you. Final stretch, legs out. Sitting bones nice and pressing into your foundation and lengthen your spine to the sky. And then hinge at the hip and fold into a nice stretch in the back of your legs. And then hands go down to the side, relax. You have a minute here. feels a little strong for your legs today you can bend your knees and you can have them a little bit elevated keep checking in with your torso you're completely relaxed with your forehead, your head, shoulders, mid-back. And then walk your vertebrae up back to straight back. Arms go out in front and we'll come down to our final resting pose. Roll back. And Shavasana. 
at least 10 breaths, I'll stay with you and then stay for another few minutes if you can. Surrender to your mat. I will leave you for a few more lovely, luscious minutes. Just completely relaxed. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.
Running, running at the high.